up. What the fuck? Where's a landline? Who has a landline? Apparently, it's Teflon. voice over IP. What is this? <laughs> the Roaring Twenties? Yes, I'll oh, be right it there. It is the 2020s. What am I talking about? Wait, he okay. said he'll be right there. What's he doing? I'll bring... Bring I'll bring it. I'll bring an axe. Oh my! Oh my God! Go on. All right, I'll be there. Teflon saying I'll bring an axe is going to be a sound bite in a sound bite in the near future. <laughs> I think so. It's a trick. Get it. She in. has. She has. Tell her not to worry about it. She has the garden hose right around the corner of the house. It the blood will wash off, and she won't even know they were there. This is fake. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. He's fooling nobody. He really did get a phone call, though. He did. Unless he's got that on a soundboard now, and he's fooling all of us. I will bring it. The landline. Bring the landline with you. That's how it works, right? That's how landlines became mobiles. Somebody just decided to bring it with them. I have to walk next door. I'll be right back. (laughs) There's a raccoon and a possum on the porch, and my wife is afraid to walk. (laughs) From walk, walk walk across the porch. That is, and I was like, they'll run. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a lot of noise. Yeah, they'll That's move. A weird joke. A raccoon and a possum right. walk into a bar. All right. Well, I will. I will be back. I will mute right. while I'm gone. Teflon's going to be right back. In the meantime. Welcome to the loosest and screwiest podcast called the Loose Screws Podcast, and it's the it's the seventeenth of October, and I'm not even going to say the. Oh wait, it's safe to say the year. It's 2022, and it's safe to say the year because Teflon is gone. I'm Commander Jan Trax, and this is this is some of my friends, and we get together sometimes, and we talk about whatever the hell we want, and sometimes also Elite Dangerous. That's the elevator pitch for this show. Uh, with me tonight is Commander Chig and Commander Hate and Commander Teflon. Welcome. It has begun. I will not go into an elevator with any of you. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know your address. Is you might. Pretty close to an elevator. airport. You probably know to within about 250 feet where my house is. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't talking about getting you in an elevator. I was talking about getting Chig in an elevator. Oh. Oh, I know where Chig lives. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I know where Trax lives. He had to exchange all kinds of personal information with me in order to buy a 3080 Ti on my EVGA account <laughs> a while back, and now we're just very good buddies. <laughs> and and I've, I've actually mailed you something before. That's true, yeah. It goes it cuts both ways. Yeah. Although, full disclosure, I did erase all of your personal information out of my EVGA account because that's what you do as an ethical person. But anyways. Eth- eth- ethics? What? Ethical? Yeah, it's I like... I don't know what um, that means. It's this thing of That's because when... you're a car salesman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's it is, better it than is what I was going to say. Yeah, it, it, it is true. There's, there's a hierarchy. It goes pedophiles, lawyers, and car salesmen. So at least we're third on the list of despicable well, people. Yikes. And car, car salesmen and bad mechanics kind of run neck and neck. Why hmm. are you bringing Crash into this? Hey, he's I think a he's good, gone, good <laughs> mechanic. Talking about himself. Kidding, hey, Crash is a good mechanic. I'm, I'm a tech, not a mechanic. <laughs> Who's a what the? I'm he's a tech, a, not a mechanic. He's a tick. It's uh, but not the kind that like gives big you big and blue. Yes, big and blue. Right. I had a '90s <laughs> animated by... TV show about me, like Putty from Seinfeld. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, how how have you been? Uh, how, how's everything been going? Like Great job care. in the episode last week. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of care. Okay, I was like so high on cold medicine and so freaking <laughs> tired. I just I, I apologize for that. I've I've been apologizing for every episode the week after I do them. So do you know what? On yeah. second thought, on second thought, I'm not going to apologize anymore. If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, still no complaints. By the way, still I uh, r- routinely get called uh, top five episodes. I think uh, <laughs> according to YouTube, we're on fire in a way that is just upward directions only. 
I just don't think our listeners can count above five. So all of the episodes are technically <laughs> top five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is good. We'll directly insult them and see how far we get. <laughs> well, you know, we're we're all on about the same level, so it all works out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we yeah. go. Perfect. So uh, it sounds like maybe you're feeling a little better. Oh, it's way, yeah, way better. I, I mean, I still have this cough occasionally, but it, it's almost gone. My energy level's back. I mean, well, they actually start, like, I, I tried running. That was a bad idea, but I, I, I should be <laughs> back to doing normal uh, jig-type things soon. Running normal in the snow? jig-type things? Yeah, doing normal chick type things like going eating running copious and volumes of cheese things. and washing it down with huge volumes of beer that, yeah, and that sounds about right that's probably why this cold lasted so long because i quit like <laughs> drinking because i was so miserable i'm like i don't want to get sicker i think if i would have just oh, taken enough alcohol, alcohol it would have disinfected boobies. my blood <laughs> rubbing alcohol for outside boo-boos and drinking alcohol for inside boo-boos exactly Exactly. Hmm. Just, you know, Which is not what I said yeah. the first time, and that's hilarious. <laughs> Moving on. That's probably fine, right? I mean, we put we put an explicit tag on the podcast, yeah. so yeah. I assume children aren't listening to this, and if they are, they did the bad thing first. Yeah. <laughs> Before they got to us, so. Bad parenting. Uh, ba <laughs> bad podcast parenting. Yes. Cool. Says mommy. Uh, <laughs> all right well um how like it, details that should we find out i don't what, i don't care man I, should know? we see what hate's done the last week let's see what hate's uh, done the last I'm week right. yeah you feeling uh, you feeling overworked or underworked or middle worked uh middle worked because i was yeah. sore today uh one of my coworkers did literally all the lifting and i stood there cheering him on uh <laughs> but but on my way to work, because I drive through a cornfield and then some woods and then a cornfield before I get to the, you know, the town of 30,000 people or more. I'm not actually sure how many people live there. Uh, <laughs> I passed like a 260 pound white tailed deer and whoa, that's yeah, a big boy. That is a big boy. And he was just walking down the road and I like I had to stop and go, <laughs> damn, dude, you are huge. What's and he replied, dinner? that's it's what she you. said. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of deer that's so big, they don't run away. They just go, what are you going to do yeah. about it? Yeah. He, like, he looked at me. He looked at the fence beside him. He climbed up the grassy knoll and then hopped over the fence into an empty cornfield. And I was like, that's that's like a really good beginning to my day. I didn't hit a deer. Yeah, there you go. And he was that's beautiful that. and huge. Nice. There he was, being all majestic and shit. <laughs> Just waiting uh, to be shot. Uh, for our <laughs> listeners, uh, don't uh, don't forget to stretch before you lift. Because uh, I didn't, and now I'm mm. sore. Wait till you mm -hmm, get to be my mm -hmm. age, Jesus. Don't wait to stretch so, before you reach for the remote. I <laughs> I feel that. Uh, I just Googled it. The town has 51,000 people in it. And it's the right. 17th largest city in Indiana. Yeah, appreciate you looking that up. I, I don't know how many of us cared, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> friggin' <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. You're worried. Well, yeah. Teflon's not here. He might have, you know, called your bullshit on that 30,000 people, and then you would have had to look it up. Me and Trax, we don't care. Right. Just make Teflon shit up, Teflon screamed man. at you, lies, lies, and deceit. Yeah. We don't We don't care. Yeah, we, we we just don't care, uh, don't Mr. Chig. Absolutely not. What uh, what have you done this week? I felt better, which reminds me, everybody, we should uh, if if you believe in like like a god of some sort, we we should probably be saying prayers because Nurgle is super super old and he's out sick this week, and I get worried about the elderly when they're sick. So everybody, send out some good vibes yeah. and wishes for our man Nurgle. Do whatever supernatural healing you or particular customs give you the power to do. Yep. You may need it. Exactly. I did turn in, we're just bouncing all over the place. I did turn in 18 billion in bonds, though, this week. Beep, beep, was, beep, was, beep, yeah, beep. Yeah. That was an interesting twist in it. But I do, I now I'm back down to square. Well, I'm back up to 
little over half a billion in bonds since I turned in, but it, it's weird to mm-hmm. not be walking around with that many bonds. But yeah, reason free I to turn- load up horizons whenever you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, the thing was is like when that last uh, um, whatever CG came out, and it was for bonds again, and you have to turn in all of them or none of them. And right. I just wasn't gonna turn in my bond. I, I wanted to get this stupid heatsink, but I wasn't gonna turn in that many bonds for fucking heat sinks. So I just, yeah. just went with it. Because at the end of the day, you know, I've sold a Hydra with the heat sinks that currently exist, not the special ones. So I don't need the special ones. <laughs> nice. You farties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're welcome. Um so I I really don't need them, but I could have, I kind of wanted them and it only would have taken what, like a few hundred million in bonds in order to qualify to get one of those launchers. So yeah, I figure keep my bond number a little bit lower so that next time I can actually like participate in something like that. I think top, top 50 or, or something was got two of them. Manitou got two of them. Of course he was in like top 10%, but anyway, more on that later. Top 10 commanders, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was number one for a fair few minutes. Yeah, that's a whole show segment. And you guys yeah. heard Teflon fart his way into the channel. What's up with you? Oh, you know, usual same old, same old. Uh, I play. I got to play some D and D this week. So did I. Me too. With you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a blast. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed it. For sure. Um. I did not kill anything when I went when I left. Just so you're aware, I didn't even see the raccoon or the possum. But it was no. very funny. So you're well, right. funny. imagining it? No, they were really there. Oh. They had just left the porch by the time I got there. I carried a hoe down there, and I was, I was, I was uh, carrying a the hoe down there. A hoe. <laughs> I, I was letting the hoe hit the ground as I walked, and. Uh, <laughs> Just straight up dragging it, huh? Dragging her by an ankle or the hair? (laughs) They have the top or the bottom of the hoe dragging on the ground. Oh my god! Wow, super sorry. What just happened? I knocked over my drink. I mean, that's going to be on the podcast, but we heard it. He's got a drink problem. Yeah, but my filters tend to remove stuff that isn't oh. a voice. We keep oh. discovering that <laughs> the stuff we laugh at doesn't make it into the podcast because oh, it just shit. casually gets removed by my super powerful AI filters. Yeah, so for those listening that might be a little bit confused because I got a bit jumbled, hate just spilled his drink. I did not spill <laughs> my drink. It has a lid on it. Oh, oh, oh he knocked he his drink over. from a sippy cup? That's impressive. No, it's, it's a bottle of Gatorade. Oh. <laughs> I mean, when my kids were little, I took I took a few sips out of sippy cups. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna lie either. There was a lot of vodka in them. Wait, what? Anyway, oh. I gave the hoe I gave the hoe to Sarah when she was walking back because she was freaked out about raccoons and opossums. You, sh- you and, share your hoe with your wife? And she she threw it because <laughs> she swore she saw something. It's probably just a stray cat we have around here. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And then she ran in the house. It was really funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so great. Other than that, I've just been I've been playing uh, more Overwatch 2 when I get a chance, just because that's an easy, quick pick up and play. I uh, keep meaning to get on Elite at some points, but man, I'm just so tired at the end of the day. Uh, I've got to get around to. I've got to. I've got to just bite the bullet one day and just get on and kill some bugs because I I want to contribute. Well, anything you do to contribute is a contribution. Contributions <laughs> come in many sizes. <laughs> anything you do to contribute is a contribution. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna contribute the massive hog that Yo, Jig has. A wise old <laughs> sage and a wordsmith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm great. I don't know. Anything you do is doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Come on. That's, that's right. Oh, no, I know. Oh, my God. So good. I love it. All right. It was 1988, 89, I think. Something like that. Yeah. So I, like I saw Secret what... of the Ooze was 1992. 
somebody posted a Teenage Mutant Ninja Tina's and it was a bunch of Tina Turners dressed up in Teenage Mutant Ninja <laughs> Turtle outfits. And I laughed and I laughed. I still remember from, you remember, you remember that show? Funny. Remember that show, that sitcom in the 90s, Dinosaurs? Yes. That yes. had the baby not with the not, mama. that would go, not the mama. But I remember, and I don't know why I remember this, because I remember pointless, stupid things. The, the the teenage son had a poster on his wall that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> uh, all right. uh, I don't know. Uh, me, what I did guess. What you do I, this week? Yeah, I mean, I... Um, yeah, what have you been up I, to? I went with the I went with the fam down to uh, Pumpkin Patch. My wife's extremely fall positive. Favorite season, autumn. Um, so we did a bunch of pumpkin picking. She likes to go to a legit pumpkin patch and pull them out of a field that we have to traipse through. Otherwise, it's not legit. Uh, oh, we, my we, they, they had a they had a corn maze uh, that was that was pretty pretty fucking serious you know normally i walk into these things it's like ah, just run around and eventually you leave um they handed out maps and you legit would need to follow it oh, <laughs> it was yo they we- it was extremely large they had drawn intricate things they had drawn a bunch of uh, a- aviation stuff there was a a space shuttle and an, and the wright brothers glider and an f-22 and some kind of mid-century prop plane and they were all drawn into the corn. Oh, and a hot air balloon. And you had to, the path from entrance to exit passed through all of them with a bunch of confusing stuff in between. And you you did have to follow that map. It was pretty it's pretty good. I was excited. Yo, was I cool. feel you on that. Uh, we went to a pumpkin patch um, a few weeks ago, and they had one there that was a maze just like that with uh, all kinds of crazy pictures drawn into it. I forget what they were, though. We looked at the map and we were like, no. And we turned around and left. <laughs> really? <laughs> left was it, the, was it the Iron's maze. Farm near near Lebanon, Ohio? No. We went to. Because uh, you live sort of close to here now. <laughs> it's like yeah, vaguely just, possible. It would have been a long forget, ass drive for you, but yeah. I forget that. No, we went to the one we went to is probably about 40 minutes away, 45 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't that. I would have recognized the name. I can't remember the actual name. But they had more stuff mm-hmm. than just the corn maze there. But we, we, we started doing the corn maze, and they had a, a QR code for you to scan, and it would pull up the map. <laughs> no doubt. so I did, and I, we saw the map, and we were like, whoa, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's go do the kids' corn maze. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Um, on on uh, the subject of deer and uh other smaller woodland creatures being all majestic and shit. I did that did remind me that I was uh, as I left my house to go to the grocery store the other day. I happened to notice in a little meadow near my house there was a deer standing there along with like six or seven squirrels just like milling about and and like a I think it was like a woodchuck. I couldn't can't really tell if it was like a a woodchuck or a possum or what, but it was the daytime, so I think it's not a an, a, a possum, but. Um, they were just standing there like a scene out of Bambi. Like they're all within like 15 feet of each other, just standing there by the road, doing their thing, flit, flitting through the grass. Anyway, that's the whole, that's the, the whole beginning, middle and end of that story. And, uh, other so than you that, saw I, some deer is what you, well, but, but the thing is, it's just, the, it was the different woodland creatures all together, like their buddies. That's what stood out. You know, I see deer like twice a day. Are you there's deer everywhere here? Are you Snow White? I'm I'm not, and I wasn't then. Uh, Did you but not I see the been. picture or the video of fireflies he sent like two years ago? Did I post a video of fireflies? Yeah, in yeah. my backyard when it's firefly season, when the fireflies decide that it's time to fuck, they come to my backyard and it is a <laughs> rave. <laughs> There's so many fireflies that we need blackout curtains. <laughs> and, and see, when I think a firefly orgy, I'm thinking more like Mal and and and, and you know <laughs> and shit like <Jesus>. that. <laughs> All right. Well, in the rest of my time, uh, whenever I've gotten to play games, I'm thing. I'm I'm doing Operation Bronze Medal. I'm fighting those thargoids. Um, took a little lunchtime break today, for example, and just popped in, did a little. Uh, conflict zone 
conflict zones work fantastically when you're in there just uh, solo. Cyclops, Cyclops, Medusa, Basilisk, Cyclops, good haul. And then I and then I was out of ammo. Actually, the the last heart on the last one, I had to kite it back to the main area there and wait around a painfully long time for enough NPCs to spawn to have the firepower to exert its heart so that I could save my last nine shots for the actual heart. And got that kill, though. Yeah, I was you know? I was killing with Manica, Crash, Bondo, Boob. Um, I don't know who else. Oh, Kieran made an appearance, too. He hadn't Ooh. been around in a while, so that was nice. And all you guys talked about seeing a critter... I had a critter incident last night, too, when I was killing bugs. All of a sudden, my daughter screams upstairs that, Mom needs you. Jasper's fighting something in the yard. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. I hope it's not a skunk. I hope it's not a skunk. By the time I got there, whatever the critter was was gone. Never saw it. And my dog was all in a froth, but don't know what it was. So my critter story, I don't even know what the fuck it was. It there was not go. a skunk. This this you know. It was not a skunk. That is all yeah, I If it was say. a skunk, was I feel like you would have known that one. Yeah. You, you would. <laughs> You would, you would have, have known as soon as you stepped it. out the door. <laughs> so it was either a, a raccoon or maybe a cat in the neighborhood or something. But the last mm-hmm. time he went after a cat that got in the yard, uh, that cat fucked him up, and he's kind of afraid of yeah. cats now. So. Yeah. Cats are little weapons, they are. Yeah. My small dog, Wags, thinks he's as big as the bigger dog, Gracie, and she thinks she's as small as he is. Yeah. Yeah, dogs don't get that. They have about no themselves. concept of size. She's yeah. like, why can't no I get in your idea. lap? And he's like, why can't I fight the moon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Cool, guys. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. Let, let's uh, let's get on to some business. Um, I'm going to fire off the uh, the old... Oh, look, that, I'm narrowly avoiding my carrier right now. Okay, great. Fantastic. I took my hands off the controls and didn't crash. I'm trying to find the squad update sound, and it is right, right, there it is. There it is. right. I see it. Incoming priority message. Squadron briefing. Um, I can I can go over this if, uh, but I, I see I, I typed I copied the the. Uh, Standing orders that Blooming Wind posted today, the gist of them anyway, thinking that nobody from uh, the faction uh, leadership was going to be here. And now Hate is here, so maybe he should read it. Never fear, I am here. And also, never fear, because Commander Shockwave, Mickey Volt, Mickey Bobby, and Bondo Juan Kenobi, and a bunch of other great commanders have been working on keeping this stuff, you know, together. Because uh, of my brief unintended hiatus. Uh, and meanwhile, they've also are working on a comeback in a war in Yemia. Yemia? Yemia? Yep. All right. Good job, team. Yemi, uh, yemi, versus yemi. the Ulta Garnier, Ar- Garnier? That translates to something weird. Uh, so we're 2 1, losing by 1. Translates to uh, outlaw, vagina. Swedish, Swedish, I think, outlaw. Uh, and Tripu, we're fighting against Tears Justice. Uh, we're up one to one to zero right now, and uh, you know we got we got some some BGS uh, affecting faction states and a couple of systems. Uh, one being the Civil Liberty and Hit Forty Nine Oh Seven which is a very common problem that we should be working against and not sell bonds or bounties in HIP 4907. Do not sell bonds or bounties in HIP 4907. We want to reduce our influence there. Uh, And also we got uh, Operation Bronze Metal still in effect, which we'll talk about more briefly in in, in a minute. More briefly, less briefly, soon TM. More or less briefly. Talk about it while in our briefs. I'm wearing hmm. pants today. What? Yeah, I got cold you. I'm not wearing pants. pants too. Uh, yeah, the the wind blows through my house. Since last week's show, wow. we've had snow twice. So yeah, but I don't I don't live that. where you live on purpose. 
<laughs> you moved away from there. It's okay. not an accident. Oh, no. all right. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Thank you for that squad update. Great job, BGS team. Go get them and whatnot. Uh, you guys always do such a great job. I have been giving you know? cheese. What? My roommate brought me cheese. What kind of cheese? Oop. Cheese alert. Gouda. Ah, good Gouda. Gouda. Good, good. You really are the most devious bastard in New York City. Thank you. <laughs> that guy is so goddamn funny. Uh, you need to change the end of that from New York City to wherever you know one of us lives. So then when you use it, it's it's a specific one for you know, the most individual bastard in Duluth, Minnesota. You know, something like that. <laughs> Individually customized versions. Exactly. Yeah, because our soundboard is already unreadable, so we may as well just load it up with seven or eight more bullshit things. Well, sure. Uh, we should probably we'll start bracing everybody for the fact that, oh my God, that we're just going to do okay. a show one time where we just hit sound bites for an hour and <laughs> be done with it. I keep telling Traxy, I'm sure he has enough clips of all of our voices that he could probably do a show with just that and well, nobody yeah. would be any the wiser. We have like 200 hours of show, so I guess we've got sound bites. <laughs> I mean, it already yeah. sounds enough like Dubs is here when you play his sound. I might not know what I'm talking about. I mean, that's entirely possible. All right, the, Dubs, uh, shut up. Where one of the reason data? times one of the reason times that Dubs was actually on the show, he said, I might not, just like that. <laughs> and I thought for sure it was the sound bite. And then he said something <laughs> different, and I my mind was blown. <laughs> Cause you know, Dubs Dubs is not always a, a talkative member of the cast, you know? Yeah. Uh says things you just gotta get him going. Well, yeah, you get him going and he talks, but like we'll do whole episodes and I'll I'll kind of realize that Dubs has said like one thing. He was like, "Hi everybody," and then like just listened to us podcast for the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so dev news. There's no dev news to speak of except that you know they're getting ready for updates and blah blah blah. Uh, but there is going to be a Frameshift Live Halloween special this Thursday. That is like three days from now when this comes out. Uh, I need it something will be that a, I can go in the chat and harass them about. Um, Chloe, it was eating. It was eating thargoids. I guess I could still do that. You could. Uh, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta Halloween it up. It's gotta be like eating, or I don't know, jack o' lantern thargoids. Wow, I made that a verb. Harving thargoids, maybe <laughs> just to yeah, <laughs> jack o' lantern. <laughs> <laughs> That's a verb now. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know what I said. You know what I meant when I said it. So in that so, way, yeah. isn't it a word? Uh, okay, so yeah, canon. that's gonna be that's gonna be at sixteen hundred BST on Thursday, and there will be exclusive Halloween Twitch drops. So even if you're working, I suggest you put that Twitch stream on your phone and mute it and stick it in your pocket, because then you'll get fun skins that look like jack o' lanterns. So. Because well, I'm pretty sure that's what the Twitch drops are. That defeats Spooky. the spirit of them give, doing a giveaway. It's so that you listen to the show. What are you encouraging people well, listen, to, to if, do? If you well, listen, if you can watch the stream, then do it. But I'm saying if you can't, like, don't whine about missing Twitch drops. Just put that in your pocket and well, go about your day. I feel I You can watch it on Twitch replay drops. later. I think I should have to suffer through that stream if I'm getting a Twitch drop. <laughs> oh, you, you and I have a difference of opinion. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, I oh, excuse me. I heard the I heard the notes about how we need to restructure the whole the whole thing here. Here's my feeling. Um, dev news. If we're mentioning things like streams, there's usually not much in the way of dev news this time. But this would be a fine place to talk about updates and then dropping right into like in-game stuff. Like we could we can start with uh, the blame the bard segment. And then just roll straight on through whatever it is that we're talking about that's to do with the game story. And most of the story is to do with Thargoid stuff anyway, so we'll slide casually into that slash blend them together, and that seems fine, right? I love when we do these on-air production meetings. It's yeah. amazing. I love it. Yep. Fantastic. I like All right. where this is here, going. 
Here comes the news. And the bird, the Tim Hattieron Express! <laughs> Man, no one got a song stuck in my head on Friday. Here I am doing a Saturday recording, and y'all left it up to me to pick a theme. But picking a theme is hard work, and I'm allergic to that. So I'm going to have the Chief Navigator read today's script. Enjoy. So we're talking to this? Oh, okay. Welcome aboard the Process Express. Let's get started, you stupid hobbitses. October 10th. Federation Shadow speaks up. It doesn't like quieting the court. October 11th. Masters is unhappy the experiment refuses to go back into its cage. October 13th. Alliance claims victory over Thargoids. Others cast their doubts. And October 14th, stupid politician wants to talk to Bugses instead of squishing them. That's all from us this week. We hope you enjoy this. <laughs> oh, I so, can't. oh, God. Oh, so God. Don't do the Gollum, Gollum impression anymore. Gollum is, is navigating his <laughs> ship. <laughs> I don't, and we're learning true. about this now. As soon as the voice started, oh. as soon as the voice started, I had to mute both my microphones because I started laughing so hard. That does. I don't explain. even know what he said. That does explain why he can't make two jumps in a row. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. All right. Well, wow. great job as always. Boy, I'll tell you. So uh, where where do I pick up the news? That's going to be right where Alliance claims victory and says that the Thargoids have retreated out of their system in much the same fashion as they retreated out of the Federation system that they uh, attacked before, uh, except they didn't <laughs> retreat out of it. Uh, I was fighting in that anchovy system fighting Thargoid conflict zones, they remain uh, as as recently as an hour ago. <laughs> uh, it was a subtle retreat. Yeah, and this this is like days ago, the news is like, oh, the Thargoids are gone. And the, and the argument in the Thargoid news... Thargoid booty. Jesus. The argument in the news is like, did they retreat on their own or did you repel them? And I'm like, N neither of those things are remotely relevant or reflection or reflecting reality. <laughs> it's just like, anyway. So, I mean, I guess this is the difference is I don't know if it's a bug or if it's like intended to leave the conflict zones there, but like, that's a little weird, right? When you announce on the news that they've retreated and they're just still there, yeah, that, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's I mean, like real world news. It just, is it, is yeah. it? I think that makes it propaganda, then, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> literally, right? They're we're totally except, winning this war, right? Except I think, like in the in-game story, they have left, right? Like that's the plot. The plot is that the Thargoids you know, pummeled the Federation for a while and then left casually. And now they've pummeled the Alliance for a while and left casually. Both superpowers claim that they're awesome. Uh, looks like the Empire is uh, putting a sign on their back because they're feeling left out and they want to be next. So I'm expecting that be. any day. Please take my lunch money. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, a, it's sort of a discrepancy with what I think the plot is supposed to be and what's actually turning out to happen. But in other news, there are six caustic cloacas now. Yep, we're still waiting on them to get here. Yep, and they're the still... The galaxy has went from a feeling of, of <laughs> the end is coming to a feeling of, I, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whatever. They, I put the link to Canon's, Canon Research's website about them, uh, including their fun 3D tracker map business, which you should check out. It's got all six of them on there, and there's a ton of data, and it's really interesting and fun to poke around. Basically works like the gal map in-game. And um, uh, the the pre-engineered heat sinks that were a reward for the last CG are out. I know Manatuk has two of them, because he did so, so much powerful bonding into that CG. 
Um, and okay. supposedly they, they've renewed the promise that they will eventually come to tech brokers, but they're, those aren't there yet. And I will, I will probably replace all of my heat sinks, regardless of how onerous the recipe turns out to be. Exactly, yeah. Seven cutter hulls or whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll be fine Don't with care. that. But the question yeah. is, is today there was rumor that it was, that they were available. No. Oh. So, so Manitouk saw one person in one discord say that. Okay. And then disappear and never come back again. So probably it's one person who is not that often in that Discord and was days late from realizing that their CG reward was present. Okay. Uh, a few days after everyone else noticed that, but popped I, in, said I the wrong confused. thing, and then left. So yeah, where I got it, it confused, wasn't though. Is is then it was like, well, you need to go to a tech broker in a certain system, blah blah. I thought the tech it was human tech broker or guardian tech broker. They weren't different anywhere. That's where I got confused today. Somebody who said, Grom, go to a Grom tech broker. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, that a was Grom Lark Shadow broker? trolling you. Grom, Grom, a tech broker in a Grom controlled system would have nothing to do with anything. So, that's Sirius what I'm is saying. the, that's, in okay. this case, Sirius is the corporation that's providing them. So, it might not be a tech broker at all, or maybe it is, but it's going to be at like Sirius controlled systems or something, or perhaps just at their mega ship. I don't know. I don't know where it'll be. Maybe it'll be like the, the, the salvation guns that were only at their mega ships and and yeah, that one ground on the settlement ship that no longer exists. Salvation, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The one ground settlement in Mbuni. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but anyway, they're not they're not here yet. It was a lie, but it was an exciting lie for a minute. Oh yeah. I was like <laughs> I was like take my money, but no. It's yeah. I I went and typed into Google, pre-engineered heatsink launchers. And filtered the results by like within the last hour and came up with nothing. And I was like, nope. If Reddit nope. isn't exploding, then it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, ju- I just checked the forums real quick because usually somebody will be there. You right, know, right. I worked my ass off for these. Why are they allowing everybody right, exactly. to get them? That's what I was expecting. Exactly. So. And, I, and that's why I'm thinking like people will react that way, right? Kind of no matter what. So that's why I'm thinking the recipe is going to be really onerous, but I don't care. It would have to be so bad for me to actually complain about it at this point. But anyway, um, so that's what's up. And uh, let's go ahead and do a check-in then with Operation Bronze Metal. We must meet the threat with our valor, our blood, indeed with our very lives to ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates this galaxy now and always. It's a fray! That does go on for quite a while. I couldn't make it any shorter without removing coolness. So it's like it's, a it's like a thirty second. It kills a good thirty seconds. It adds a good yep. thirty seconds to the yep. show every time. So yep. I uh, yep. I have to remove some coolness. I uh, my back injury is too severe, and I must go find somewhere that doesn't hurt to be. Oh, a all right, million man. pardons. Uh, no problem. I hope you feel Catch better, dude. Get better. Yep. Take care of yourself. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. So the, what was I talking about? Oh, operation. Yeah. So we're in fourth place now. Correct. Uh, Chig, Chig, uh, dropped his bonds and, um, rocketed us up from, I guess ninth was the previous. I think we were at, 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 11th at our last day recording. That I turned it in. Yeah. We were at ninth. Okay. We had dropped down a few spots and then me turning in, pushed us back up to fourth. Sweet. So I was looking at it just before recording and the second and third place currently have about twice as much contributions as we currently have, but they are both extremely close to each other. They're only like 2 billion apart from each other. Yeah. Um, Second place is at a hundred billion right now. Third place is nine, almost 99 billion. Yeah. So it's, um, I don't know. At, at first I was like, yeah, we'll never get second place, but they're so close to each other that it's not off the table at this point, but, but we, we definitely have a lot of work still to do. Yeah. Um, but there are many of us still holding uh, pretty significant bonds. So I think we can do it, but it's, I'm not, I'm not putting on, I'm not letting up on the throttle there, not until the very end. So yeah. Um, keep up the good work and all that. 
And I have, for the record, I, I was fighting in the conflict zones uh, as late as today, uh, which are still there for some reason. And I'm sure a new, co- new system in the Empire will get attacked soon. But anyway, I have now moved my carrier back out to Pleiades. There's a system here that we found last time that has um, a any any uh, signal sources you might want to find and also has an attacked mega ship for doing those scenarios. So depending on how many people we play with, if we exceed one team, uh, we can do the mega ship stuff or maybe mega ship stuff is good for some people solo. It, it depends. Um, I think I'd prefer to pick out whatever interceptor I want to fight with a signal source if I was solo, but um, it also allows you to, you know, rearm in between, which is, that's why I have to, you know, have to leave the conflict zones is because I run out of ammo at a certain point. But um, anyway, so I, so I moved out here. Um, should I say what system I'm in? Uh, that's up to you. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just the three. Marks. I mean, it's public, it's... whatever. Yeah, we're in we're in uh, hip seventeen six ninety two, and I set a squad bookmark too. The planet uh, A three has a, a mega ship around it, um, but this system has been really good for uh, hunting signal sources as well. So, invite anyone who wants to to come out. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's good good, good I mean, system if, for, if, if you don't want to stay in the attack zone. You could always switch to private group or whatever if we need to. It's no big deal. Oh yeah, no, I'm not worried about like people crowding us out or whatever. Yeah, I, I honestly, I've kind of gotten used to using private group for this stuff anyway, just because when the systems do get crowded, regardless of whether they're like <laughs> what people are here for or what system it is, you know, if it's in the bubble, sometimes it's otherwise traffic and stuff like that. But it just it makes the instancing too weird and it's tough. So we're just we're pretty much always in private net these days anyway. Unless there's some specific reason we need to be in open, but yeah, like Kieran right. showed up last kind of night shame. and he asked, "You guys in the private group?" And it's like, "No, we're in open." He goes, "Really?" Because <laughs> we're always in private. So <laughs> yeah, threw him. We've off been last using night. AXI's private because yep. that's also like, especially if you're going to be doing Thargoid scenarios, playing in open is just so hairy because there's just so many people there that don't um, you know what they're doing. That yeah, I mean, and not knowing what you're doing would be fine on its own, but they're not paying attention. So yeah. like pay attention to the local system, uh, not, not the system chat, the local chat, um, because there are times, you know, the Thargoid combat is, is the most bug ridden part of this game. <laughs> it's, it has no involves complicated. Yeah. It involves complicated mechanics with, uh, different patterns and tons of technically the Thargoids are NPCs, right. And all the complicated AI that's related to them and all their phases and stuff. And then combine that with, um, Instancing and issues, con- yeah. conflict zone progression yeah. is a total mess. I mean, I know that was claimed to be fixed in update 12 or 13. I forget which one, but it totally didn't change at all. Like they lock and get stuck almost time. every time. Yep. The only time it doesn't is if it's if I'm doing them solo or if there's like, you know, less than a wing, sometimes it, it works. Um, but as soon as you start adding more people there, especially if those people are from farther away geographical areas, um, it starts it starts screwing up. And, you know, we have ways of dealing with it, but you got to pay attention because we have to, like, leave and restart the instance sometimes. Or one person has to stay and hold it open and everybody else leaves and then it'll fix. But you got to pay attention to that stuff. So anyway, that that ends up being the reason that we're in AXI private because generally people in there um, are paying closer attention. So... Um, they're not all aces. It's not like I'm going in there because I'm trying to stand on everyone else's shoulders or whatever, and I don't mind carrying beginners either. Um, it's just about paying attention. Indeed. That's how I feel. So, this is about focusing on the task at hand. Yeah. yeah man. Anyway. Anyway. I, that's that's all the interesting stuff I have that's that's show related. Um, I wasn't sure what we were going to talk about, so well, I bug, actually bug report. Let me just mention. Oh, something. you got I, a, we got bug bug. I've Should I play a, the I, sound for that? Do you guys want to hear do the we roars? Have one? Well, we put the roars that I made. Oh, that's for Thargoid bugs. I was going like oh a, regular a glitchy bugs. bug. Glitchy I've, bugs. I've got what a new got? one that happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay, that fart sound will be the bug bug report sound. I like there we that. go. Yes, that that f devs that. That sound is FDev's attempts at fixing these bugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
Jesus. It never stops. Why? Why? Thank you, patrons. Um, <laughs> Gentlemen, this is oh, Democracy Manifest. Uh, and my vote says soundboard gets quiet occasionally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, ever since I got, you know, my new verbal stick, I, I'm not going to say every time I log on, but I'd say four out of five times I log on, uh, the the keybinds aren't there. And they don't go away or anything. I go into the, I have to go into the keybind menu, just enter it, and then leave it, and then they're they work. You don't even have to change your menu. I don't selection. have to change anything. I don't need to hit save. I don't need to do anything. I just need to go into options, ship controls, and then back right back out, and then they work. I've gotten the habit of doing it every time I log on, but it it's not every time it happens because huh. sometimes I forget. Then all of a sudden it's working right, and then the next time I go in, and then it's not. And you know how the bindings has an error log. No errors are tripping. It's just. It's so, just not working. So it's like, huh? And it's, it's, it's as if because so if the game doesn't detect that a controller's plugged, like this is how the behavior is supposed to work, right? Yeah, like if the yeah. game doesn't detect that one of your controllers that is in your binds file is present, then it will error out and switch to like the default or something. Exactly. And you'll find that error in the log. So it's not switching it's not switching to default yep. it's just not responding until you enter the menu and it's still showing chig's binds which is you know it's when i go into the options it's still showing that i've got it hasn't switched to a default binding and here's the thing too is it's not like it's not all of the buttons not working it's just those buttons that remember when i told you verbally oh, changed yeah. some numbers it's those ones that i had to remap that are not working so it's now. It's did you like remap them, or did menus. you did you edit the text, or did you edit the binds file in game? I edited the. Hold on. I edited the text in the binds file to show the correct. No, mm. I, I actually no. I changed. I think the binds. I thought you told no, me listen, you did listen. it in game. No, I did. I did go in to change you know, the device ID in the binds file. So that was right. But then right. the buttons were different. So then I had to do it in the game, you know, change to those specific ones. Cause like one is, you know, the scrolling through menus button and yeah. like doing pips. That's like my center hat. And that one, for some reason had changed numbers. So that one doesn't work until I go into the bindings thing and then exit it. <laughs> So you're saying the control that you have bound to manipulate the menus doesn't work until you go in and manipulate the menus? Exactly. So I got to hit escape and Fuck. enter. And use know, the mouse. And use the mouse in order to go into the menu. And then I can escape out and then everything works exactly the way it's supposed to. What the Yo, fuck? dog! I heard you. I heard you like menus, so I got you menus to dive in, to dive into more menus with for but, your menus. But the control you want to use to navigate those menus won't work until you go in the menus using different controls, and then they'll work, dog. It's just fucked up. Oh, I man. mean, do you have any idea how you would even fix that? Reinstall the game? No, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Delete your whole binds file and recreate it. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. You know Why would game? that be different? Wait, wait, wait. You know what game we're talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> Recreate the binds file from scratch? Fuck yeah. that. I'll go play exactly. something else. How's this Overwatch <laughs> game you're playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. God. All right. That sucks. Yeah. And I, um, I have no idea how to fix it other than just that, you know, 10, ten seconds every time I log on, I got to go into there using my mouse and keyboard and then... I'm right back in game. It just sucks when I hop in game and forget to do that. Then it's like, fucking a escape, you know, and, and mm -hmm. going, it, it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. And I have no idea how to fix it. If anybody knows how to fix it or any ideas on how to fix it, other than Trax's horrible, horrible idea of rebuilding from scratch, <laughs> come to the discord and let me know, please. I beg of you. All right. So that's my bug of the week. All right. Um, well, earlier today, I, I wasn't sure what we were going to have to talk about or if there would be a topic. And for some reason, it, something possessed me to ask in general chat. That was a terrible idea. And it was a terrible idea. But some some things, some things uh, people responded with and uh, outfitting. 
<laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Let me scroll up and make sure. Uh, yeah. So Blooming Wind has been uh, got 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 himself some cell banks. He's been setting them up on his uh, Corvette, and I guess nearly blew himself up trying to use a cell bank. <laughs> oh, uh, so, and I thought, oh, it's cell banks one hundred one. So first of all. I remember that, you know, we were kind of going over this over the past week or two because he, he got the cell banks. He doesn't have prismatic shields. He was like, should I be using cell banks without prismatic shields? And it's like, first of all, in my opinion, yeah. I mean, sure, you can use cell banks with, with biweaves. Yep. Uh, that doesn't change. I mean, c- cell banks becomes the way to f- to mitigate the primary problem with prismatic shields. Is there but it charge? doesn't... Yeah, and but even though biweaves have fast recharge, it doesn't mean you can't help those out too. I mean, you're basically now what you're doing is helping the greatest strength of the biweave shield by adding a cell bank to it. Works just fine. You know what? We um, forget sometimes that some new players actually listen to yeah. this, this program. So you're doing c- c- uh, cell banks 101. Maybe you should just explain the difference between shields and and benefits yeah. and weaknesses of those. Uh, just like shields at all? Yeah, yeah just, okay. Let's go shields 101, then you can go into banks and why it would be a better idea for prismatic as opposed to, because you just kind of blew right by, you know, it, it mitigates the biggest weakness of prismatics. And we probably right. have some people listening going like, what's the biggest weakness of prismatics? You know? <laughs> yeah, so prismatic shields is a power play item. So, uh, you know, most beginners won't have that. Um, but everyone has access to biweave shields. Biweave is a... Is a um, a uh, type of grade C shield with extra fast recharge, but it has a uh, higher power draw. Um, so it, it is the strength of a C rated shield. So less, less overall strength than an A rated, but the increased recharge uh, more than makes up for that. Um, biweaves are the best shields unless you're doing a prismatic. Uh, or certain like exploration builds, which technically benefit more from an, like an A rated or something, maybe. But um, if you're talking about combat, yes, biweaves are the best. I know some sometimes it's so confusing for beginners because it's not as strong, but your shields will spend more time up and defending you from oncoming fire if they and recharge when, faster. And when they drop, they come up faster too. Don't yeah, they? a lot yeah, faster like too. Way yeah. faster. Way faster. So and and that that's really important. Um, the, the prismatic shield is sort of the opposite. It has extra slow recharge, but a super high capacity and, and a very high power draw as well. But that's a power play item. You, you have to, you have to go through a, lo- a big four week long song and dance to, uh, open that up to yourself. But, and then when you um, get them, they're super expensive. They are magnificent. They are the most expensive single items in the game is the largest prismatic shield, but it is, it creates those 20,000, uh, mega jewel uh, cutters that that uh, you can build uh, with prismatic shields. So yep. typically, what happens is like a prismatic shield will never recharge during a combat engagement. You will, you just don't re, you don't rely on it to recharge. Just presume that it never will. Um, but that's why we stack cell banks on there. So cell bank is a countermeasure that you can fire, and it will. Add, just add a bunch of mega joules of uh, recharge into your shield over a and matter of three you. or four seconds. Uh, and it produces a buttload of heat. So wh- that's how Blooming Wind roasted himself up to 300% <laughs> heat or something. So the, the trick is you, you want to use heat sinks with your cell banks. Um, sometimes with a big ship like a Corvette, you can get away with um, s- just soaking the heat of a single bank. Um but that depends on your engineering, right? So the engineering for a cell bank can, if, if you're going for kind of a maximum recharge, it makes the cell bank take longer to take effect. And, uh, but th- that spreads the heat dump out over a longer period of time. So usually it's not as dangerous. Um, but I kind of, I prefer the other engineering, which is kind of people think of as more PVP engineering, but it's rapid recharge. So it reduces the amount of time that the cell bank takes effect on um slightly doesn't charge as much but it gets it done faster so you can't get canceled by rail guns so that's the benefit um but you need to use heat sinks with them so um but you can fit two cell banks onto a, a single heat sink and i think that's probably what he was doing was double banking because it's but, a corvette right so tracks, you get two cell banks on, but what how does 
rail guns cancel cell banks. Well, you got to put a special effect on there. It's called um, feedback cascade. Oh, feedback cascade. Like, yeah, the feedback golly. cascade uh, experimental effect on a railgun uh, causes it to cancel a large portion of the recharging effect of an enemy cell bank. Um, it's it's a if if you are fighting large ships that are using shield cell banks, it is a very important damage source in a sense because they are adding hundreds of megajoules back onto their shield in a matter of seconds, and if you can just fire between two and three shots from your railgun and totally cancel that, you're really ruining their day. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, yeah. So anyway, the engineering I advised was to go with that because I really don't think it makes that much of a difference, and I, I kind of prefer that anyway. You get the, sh- get the cell bank done quickly so that it, you're not vulnerable for uh, as much time, um, but it produces a ton of heat. So what do you do? How do you handle that, Chig? Well, I'll tell you, or do you want to tell them? <clears throat> You, you use I'll, a heat I'll, sink? You use a heat sink. So so what do you do? Do you just fire that heat sink and then you wait or what? No, I put on silent running to see how hot I can get. Okay, so it's possible that Chig's an idiot. Here's the <laughs> real <possible>. info. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to fire that heat sink and you're going to watch your heat drop down. And it's just as soon as it hits zero, you push your cell bank button twice. There you go. You're double banking and it's all going to fire off within the time that that heat sink is covering you. And then you, that's going to eject out of the back, back of your ship and you're good to go. You've just dumped a buttload of megajoules back into your shield. The heat didn't bother you at all because of that, that sweet, sweet heat sink. And you might have had the side benefit of uh, losing some missile locks in there when you drop down your heat so low. So, hey, who knows? So that's cell banks. Use them with heat sinks because they're very hot. And that reminds me of when the first time I ever tried outfitting my ship by myself was when I was just in the Viper. Um, and I didn't have anybody to help me. I was just trying to figure it all out myself. And I, I thought, okay, cool. I think I have everything I want on here. I think I upgraded things, you know, pretty well. So I flew out to the uh, to do bounty hunting in my Viper, uh, and uh, I got out there and I deployed my weapons. And as soon as I deployed my weapons, I was on uh, life support. <laughs> <laughs> power priorities. Yep. Yeah, I, I did not understand the power priorities at that time. This yeah, game it's... has so many things like that. It's it's funny because when you're outfitting, it's easy to not notice. Like if you're not looking for it or thinking about it, it's easy to not notice that it's telling you deploying your hard points is going to put you over over your power limit. Um, it it does tell you, but it's easy to overlook. I'll tell you, and and I am often drawing up my combat ships intentionally to be right at that power limit because I'm trying to use like the smallest power plant I can and other things like that to stay light. Yeah, for sure. That's one thing. Back back on shields for one minute is like when I was newer, I just assumed that prismatics were the best because they took four weeks to get. They give you the most shields. They got to be the best thing in the game, right? Right. And then you realize, no, that's not true because if like if you're doing, especially like if you're doing conflict zones or you know just even out bounty hunting. They can any any extended yeah, combat engagement because they just don't can be tough recharge. I mean, until you get back into super cruise or something, they take forever, and even right. then, they take forever to recharge. So it, it you like know, fifteen minutes to recharge. Yeah, to come back up once yeah. they drop, it's it's like forever. Uh, so yeah. you know, that's that's where you know I only really use prismatics if I mean I like to do them for like doing wing missions when I'm solo just because it's a one engagement type of thing. So Mm -hmm. having a shit ton of shields helps or under having an undersized shield on an expiration ship. So your landings, you know, you you can take more of a hit because you're not getting hit a lot. You just get as much shields as possible for as small a shield as you can. And that's about all I use prismatics and, for these and days. And when they're when they're undersized, the recharge time is not fifteen minutes. It'll be like one or two minutes, and that doesn't matter because you're you're not intending to use that shield for combat. Um, you're using it for 
bumping into stuff by accident out, on, out exploring. And if you are engaged in combat, it's because somebody chased you and you didn't want them to. So you're using it for just enough time to get away. So you just want max mega jewels. And then as soon as you get away, it's you're going to be in super cruise anyway. So it'll recharge very quickly exactly. after that. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, if you I have one on, on a mining, mining ship. ship or a transport right. ship, if you're, you know, using any shield on a transport ship, for sure. So, mm-hmm. I guess in fact, the in. only ships I have them on, I have prismatics on right now are, are the mining ship that I haven't used in years, the mining Python, uh, a little size three there. And then, um, a, uh, um, oh my God, it just completely left my brain. Oh, my, my Corvette. Yeah. <laughs> my actual battle Corvette still does have a prismatic shield. I have um, it. And, and it has double cell banks because that is the only way to keep them charged through a whole CZ. Although most of the time, you know, it's not a problem. If, if you're soloing like a high CZ, occasionally you get those, those moments where you're situ- you know, you get lazy and yeah. you don't realize that there's like nine uh, enemies and no friendlies all around you. Or a mega ship and is shooting you. <laughs> That's the only right. time I have to, right, that's the only time I ever have to fire the cell banks anyway, but um, if I were to, like, engage in, like, a wing mission or something like that, they'll hold up for that long, and then yeah. I'll need to land and recharge them, so. I yeah. have prismatics on my type, my pack hound type 10, because my shields <laughs> are going to outlast my ammo every time, so. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. The other, <clears throat> excuse me. The other thing uh, was the you know, people are, um, not everyone is handling the oncoming Thargoid storm in the same way that you and I are. Some people are noping out. And uh, so now the, uh, the, the thing to do right now besides fight Thargoids is to go exploring. And a few people... Mm-hmm. Uh, have been taking it upon themselves to to do that. I don't know, I don't know about um, not following personally any uh, new expeditions right now, but um, it's happening. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to comment on about that, but it was the other thing, and I don't want to say no. I'll talk about one topic, but not the other one, just because I'm oh, like no. kind of a combat guy. <laughs> yeah, because there's like Grover's out in the black. H Jag is out in the black. Yep. Uh, Lark keeps talking about going out in the black, and then he doesn't. Uh, but he's always talking about that, though. He's That's always, yeah, anything he's always different. Talk, he's always Jared talking about Jared Crew is the one who personally was was mentioning this. Out for adventure and avoidance of bugs. You know what? I, I'm into it for the role playing of it. Um, yeah. You know, because like my role playing is, you know, lock and load, but. I love that you know that's the the open universe and and plenty of other people their their role play is I'm gonna watch this from far away and that's that's uh that's a living galaxy. Well, that's like when remember when hip twenty two four sixty they were getting ready to fire the Proteus yeah. wave or whatever the fuck it was. Everything in me, you know, as a player was I'm going to be in that system when this happens to see what happens. But right. my head cannon, I just couldn't do it. I jumped my carrier 500 light years away and I was on board because I didn't <laughs> want to be anywhere near that system when that happened because I just, my character is not that fucking stupid. He's not going to hang around there while this happens. So, you know, I, I, I jumped away even though I wanted to be up close and have a good parking spot. But yeah, no, I jumped away. Just, you know, you got to have your little head cannon things. Right, right on. Well, yeah, I could totally see why some people would do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me personally, My, I just can't explore anymore. Period. I'm sorry, I just, I just can't do it. I've, I've been to Beagle yeah. twice. I've been to every sector in the galaxy. I am, you know, elite five in exploration. I'm elite in plant gunning. I just, I, I just can't do it. I just, I like can't. doing it. I just need to, I just need to be motivated to do it, and I'm just not. I'm just not. Next time we do yeah. a group one, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be all about that. But like, I'm just not motivated. I, th- I think it's going to be tough to get a group one going, you know, because none of us on the on the crew here um, have been very motivated to do that. We've done a few, but yeah, I feel the same way. Like I, 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 the whole time I'm gone, I feel the urge to come back, um, and I don't know if it would, if I would feel differently if the you know, if the on foot aspect of this game would render in stereoscopic in VR, 
uh, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not asking them to develop motion controls for this game because I get why that's a bear and I don't think I would really want to be getting up out of my chair either because that'd be weird and how would I sit back down? How would I have to take the headset off to see? And anyway, so, you know, keyboard and mouse, but with stereo vision, I think would be enough. With that, maybe I would feel differently about the parts of this game that are on foot, but right now they, they hold no interest for me and I just never, ever get out of this seat. The only thing, the only um, time I ever get, so. I've ever, I've ever gotten out of my seat, was uh, just to take screenshots on foot, like uh, yeah. third person screenshots and so, and, and of that, my that's dude. Why I'm, that's why I'm thinking of it, right? Because it's like if you're out exploring, that's what's that's what would be new and interesting about it. Since the last time we were all out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't draw me because I'm just, I just don't care. I just don't like. Because that's what it would be. I would get out and find a screenshot and be like that. But while I'm experiencing it, I would be trying to like use the free cam to hack myself into the head and then push the right button and then walk around like that, I guess, yep. in order to make it go stereoscopic. And it's just so silly. Yeah. Well, so I mean, anyway. Like I get you. What, Distance Screws? That's what we went with, right? That was the name of the first one we did. Distance Screws years. and Distance Screws 2. There was the sequel. Yes, and like the first one, that was most of our first time really doing that. That's how new all of us were to the game. Yeah. And I had been to Colonia I had never been once, to Colonia but... or, or Sagae. Yeah, that was that. my first time. That was when I first joined the squadron. Yeah. And... Or joined the, joined the group at all. So when it was new oh, yeah. and exciting and fun. And then the second one was kind of to go see Evelyn's Light and stuff, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. So, so I mean, we, we, we went to, it's, it's near-ish to Colonia and there was a real good reason. Um, and so we all went, went to Colonia again and then some people set out from beyond there to continue. Um, but th- that was where the official thing kind of ended. And um, yeah, we came home. Yeah, because those of us on Dubs' carrier for Evelyn's Light, because I didn't have my carrier at the time. Or no, I did have mine, but I rode out on Dubs' carrier because uh, we went west and we had to we had to mine tridi- tritium to get back. Yeah, yeah, you dumb how, dumb. How bastards. was that? Was that tons of fun? <laughs> I don't know. I skimped out on a lot of it. I didn't. Only way you're getting <laughs> home is to mine. Jesus. I actually flew out and met you guys like. How far did you deliver? Yeah, I delivered tritium to them like 8,000 light years out so that they didn't have to mine one last As time. Much. Yeah, yeah. I, brought, I brought a few thousand tritium out to them because I felt bad for them. Dumb bastards. Yeah. <laughs> I, I skipped out on most of the mining. I was, Data and uh, somebody else in dubs did most of the, did the biggest share of mining. I think I did mining for it one time. Was it Roy mm-hmm. out with you guys too? Was I think Ray so. out there? Yeah. Long time Discord person Roy Cookson. Yeah, very long dis yeah. That's 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 the guy. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, yeah, that's why we haven't had another expedition, honestly, guys. If somebody wants yeah. to put something together, more power yeah, we'll, to we'll, you. Yeah, we'll definitely like we'll we'll give it light and everything. Um it's gonna be a, I, I'm not saying like a personally that I'll come along, um, but plenty of people <clears throat> aren't like us that only do combat. <laughs> so um, you would definitely get a lot of support and everything. If if members of the community would, are, are interested in that, please, please do. Um, we love that. People people sometimes, uh, you know, you see this like in general or whatever. It's like, oh, we should have a, this event. And my response is always the same. Well, it. unless it's a wicked, stupid idea, then I say that's a wicked, stupid idea. But, but if it's not a wicked, stupid idea, I say, yeah, man, do it. And uh, so please feel free. Yeah, and we'll, um, we'll support we'll definitely it. We'll talk signal, about it on the signal show. boost it as much as we can. We'll give status updates. We'll, 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 we'll support it 100%, but I yeah. just don't see myself going with. Bring yeah. a fighter. I'll come fly a fighter with you out in the black. Yeah, at some we'll point. telepresence out with yeah. you sometimes. That'll be, that'll be great. Um, okay, it's pig kicking time, and that means it's time to talk cheese. Oh, shit. What do you got, Tess? So... The cheese. Oh, wait, this wait, week. wait, wait! I didn't, I didn't, chig, I didn't do chig chat. There, there must oh, be some right. chig chats to catch up on. We've got to. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, which one do we want to play? Chig chat three. Hey y'all, it's chig chat. Oh, we're gonna get our chig our chat up off in here. I tell you what, boy, it's gonna be time. Oh, I tell you what, this chig chat. Where the cheese at?
Wow. Um, yeah, where it's at. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the at the. We got a window licking pug going on. We got a cat licking a cat on a monitor. It was just a weird <laughs> week. We got Tony Mon. What is it? Tony Mon Montoya. Was that what is on Scarface? Pulling Montana. his head up from a giant, yeah, Tony Montana from a giant <laughs> pile of cocaine. McGeek shared a giant freaking cheese section at some store. I don't know where that is, but I would eat the shit out of all that there. cheese. Uh, <laughs> NL Hate shared fondue boarding. You can go watch that video and see what that is. Um, <laughs> McGeek shared uh, uh, a Havarti with dill that he bought. I'm not a fan of the dill cheeses, to tell you the truth, but... I'll eat them. Dill's a dill's a, a, a questionable flavor, but you know, I'd well, give it a try. I found something like with cheese. I mean, dill I mean, dill dill has its use. Make a stuff. good uh, beef stroganoff, you know, just nice, but you know, it can be kind of rich and, and creamy. Some fresh dill over the top of it really cuts that and adds a freshness to it. Just a little okay. like thing. If you I like want to, to try put dill good. pickles, I like to put dill pickles on my sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. So it's a, it's a little it's. Well, you know how this is. It's a little acid. If the salt's not working in your dish, you need a little more acid, and it balances everything. And anyway, go on. Exactly, exactly. So that was a Havarti dill from a geek. So then Double O Scotch had to throw a highly recommended. He threw a jalapeno Havarti. Now that I've never had. Okay. That I would okay. definitely, I'm going to give that yeah. a whirl. I'm going to look for that. I've never had, because uh, I love Havarti, man. Good. Yeah, God. Havarti, kind of a kind of a Swiss-like cheese, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, um, yeah. That yeah. would be good with a little heat. <laughs> yes, very It is. Very it is very good, yeah. I've had Havarti mm-hmm. on uh, sandwiches and stuff before. Then, like, what? when I make sandwiches, when I get stuff for sandwiches, like when I'm in a sandwich kind of mood, I I, I'll, I will go all out. I'll get, like, really good bread. I'll get, like, um, I'll go find a good <laughs> cheese that I can cut, that I can slice myself. <laughs> and I'll get, like, the really good, like, deli uh, cuts of meat. And I'll get the. I, I like to. I like to do it up fancy when I do sandwiches. Sandwich Teflon doesn't fuck around. Well, remember sandwich Teflon loves a big, fucking. A chick chat one time was just asking people about sandwich ideas. That should make a return. I want that. Yeah. All right. We're talking about Teflon right. and his and his mighty cheese, and he's doing the cheese thing these days. So let's. He just talked about when he does sandwiches. He fucking does not fuck around. So I let's don't. get some I get serious bread that I, I get bread that I have to slice. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, you got to <laughs> slice the bread. Releases wow. the flavor. Coolest thing since. Um, yes, I, I say. <laughs> I say we want sandwiches this week. Pick, make crazy sandwiches and share pictures. I will drool over them. Uh, that, that's really that's what froggy, I want to make bread this week. The only, right. uh, only other thing I want to mention is poor Lark Shadow's moving. So if anybody's in Idaho and wants to help him move, 10 a.m. Mountain Time on Saturday, show up at his place to help him move. <laughs> As someone who just who just did a big move recently, I feel you, man. Like, I'm, yeah. I can't be there to help you, but I feel you. There's not much worse than moving, man. Oof. Moving sucks. Moving sucks. All right, cheese me. All right, for the cheese this week, we have, and I'm going to, butcher some of these words just so you know because uh they're finnish uh so we have uh just a little beat just a lipa it's a cheese bread kind of um and originally comes from southern ostrobothnia in northern finland i have no idea if i'm saying any of these right by the way uh it's no good in english they call it finnish squeaky cheese because it squeaks against your teeth when you bite into it Really, uh, really fresh Colby <laughs> does too. If you've ever, if you like Colby, you get really fresh from the yeah. f- freshly made. It's it's super squeaky. All right, go on. Well, um, they make it from uh, a cow's uh, bee stings, which is rich, rich milk from a cow that is normally that is recently calved, so recently given birth. Um, um, it can also be made from reindeer or even goat's milk. Um, reindeer <laughs> cheese, the mighty caribou. <laughs> the cheese, the cheese is toasted during its preparation and it contains about twenty to twenty-two percent fat. Uh, while later versions, oh my god, uh, me too. Lighter versions contain about twelve percent fat. Uh, actually, the fat oh. content wasn't the thing I was going for on that when I copied and pasted that sentence in here. But oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, you did extensive research and you found all this stuff out. Oh, I did. I read it, but I just copied the wrong Finland sentence. Oh, um, but uh, copy pasting. Uh, but um, 
one of the other things I read on there um, is that um, they used to they have a, another um, preparation that they used so they could store it for days, and then it would get it would get almost hard as like rock, and then they would um, uh, melt it with over a fire um, in order to uh, uh, when they were ready for it, in order to make it edible again and ready to use it. And it also it created it creates a great aroma. So oh, yeah, a great aroma. Yep, that's, that's the, the best kind. This week. I I am a fan. I I will try to see if I can find that anywhere. I don't know that you're going to find it anywhere. I just <laughs> I use interesting filters when I'm looking for cheese. Well, remember we've, we've <laughs> <laughs> nice. We we've done some cheeses like there was a moose cheese i think that was from finland wasn't it and we've had water buffalo mozzarella we've had you know a handful of different animals being milked i think this is the first time the reindeer has cheese. been mentioned maggot cheese well Ooh. so yeah when i go to the website i can filter it by country or by uh by animal and a couple other things and so i filtered it by animal and i picked i was like reindeer well, I know which one I'm clicking on. So. <laughs> you should have saved that for Christmas. Jesus. I should have. Oh, yeah. I should missed have opportunity. It's all. It's all uh, right. Yeah. Thank you. And and then movie anniversaries. How did all these segments happen? I don't know. Anyway, but we do them. Yeah, we just keep yeah. adding. All right. I. This is also not my responsibility. It's content. All right. Go ahead. Teflon. All right. So 20 years ago, we uh, the ring was released on October 18th. So 20 years ago tomorrow. That bitch coming out is of the, the TV was terrifying. That's is, the one. Is, isn't is that it? the Sarah Michelle Geller ring or the original The Ring? Sarah Michelle Geller was in that remake ring. I, you know, I only saw it one time because I don't watch horror movies. Um, Wasn't it her? So I don't remember. I don't. Yeah, the, the one in the one in, it's it's the original is is a uh, Japanese, I think. Yeah, well, yeah that but one's then, called. Yeah, that's you're talking about Ringyu. Well, yeah, yeah but it's a. It's if you Japanese. translate it, it's the same fucking movie. Yes, I <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, I just was saying <laughs> the ago. Japanese name, so the, the, in case people want to okay, know. Okay, so we're, we're talking Watts about the was in it. It was not Sarah Michelle Gellar. Is that? I don't you, see Sarah Michelle Gellar listed. Really, Naomi Watts. I have a false memory. Yeah, that's where you said it was Sarah. I'm like, what? Are you what? <laughs> well, to be fair, confused. it was 20 years ago. Yeah, I thought it was Buffy. Yeah, thought no, it was Buffy. No, it wasn't. It was anyway. Buffy. It was Naomi Watts. All right. Okay. That was Very actually. It was actually kind of scary. I saw that one in the theater back when it came out. It seemed like a good idea. And that 25, <laughs> yeah. 25 years ago, we got "I Know What You Did Last Summer." Okay. Now is that Sarah Michelle Gellar? Yeah, it was Sarah Michelle Gellar in that one. No, I think uh, I no, don't know. I, I never face. watched it's those. Not... I, I figure they they already know. So yeah, Freddie Prince Jr. and I can't think. What's the chick that's in that? What's her face? Come on, somebody. I don't bloody know. I don't I'll know, know it as soon as you hear it. Yeah, I don't. It's the the chick from Scream, isn't it? Isn't that? No, I don't think she, she did both of them. Did she? I don't I feel like those, those were out... those were like almost contemporary movies, I right? And didn't did they come out like the same year? I don't know. Why isn't I that think, one on the list then? Hold on. I know. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess. Well, because it's they, this week. Oh, Jennifer Jake. Love Hewitt, Sarah yes, Michelle Geller. Okay, that's what Wait, so she know was in did. it? Yep, she was oh. in it. Oh, so Buffy be, was in it. I wonder, I if, I wonder if that's where she met Freddie Prince Jr. because they're married. Oh, maybe. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> All right, what else? I you mean, got? I don't care either. <laughs> uh, also, 25 years ago, The Devil's Advocate. Oh Came man, out. I could share a story about that movie, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, that's great! So now All we're right. just teasing content. Yeah, I love okay. teasing so, content. Anybody in I, Discord with me one night, you want to hear a story about that movie? I'll tell you a story. 25 years ago, I was off yeah, the air. <laughs> yeah, off the air story. All right, that's a good okay. movie, by the way. I actually really enjoy that movie. And then a special one uh, on 55 years ago tomorrow. The Jungle Book was released. Great Scott. Whoa. 55 years ago. Man. That's... I mean, there are others. There's a few other movies I could have put on this list, but these are the ones that people yeah, are going to know. Let's, let's cut on on Talking Tigers, right? Come on. What are you going to do? Top Talking Tigers? Fuck yeah. no. Well, the yeah. tiger is the villain in the Jungle Book. I think next yeah. week we're just going to so do Sarah Michelle Gellar movies. 
right. Next next week will be the Sarah Michelle Geller cast. <laughs> I, I, I can do that. I mean, whatever. I'm not going to be here, so you guys do what you got to do. Well, no, hey, no, we it's need, your we fault. Content. We're doing it. You have to be here. Yeah. Well, good good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Well, that's good. That's going to do it, guys. Uh, ah. Thanks for thanks for being on the podcast. Sorry that NL hates uh, for NL hates uh, rough uh, spinal situation. The new job. Get your hands off you. my penis. Okay, that's not that's not correct. <laughs> anyway, if you like the show, give us a rating and it, give us a comment on the YouTube. Tell us, do, are we are we still doing what you want? Because he's my best friend. The... He's my pal. Oh, he's my homeboy. My rotten soldier. <laughs> he's my sweet cheese. Please complain the about ro- the soundboard. The rotten soldier. <laughs> I'm always so annoyed when I hear you start playing a, a, one of those stupid sounds, but then he says rotten soldier. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? It's so stupid. You really oh are God. the most devious bastard in Jeez. New York City. <laughs> You're supposed to cut it off. Oh You're supposed to make it. You really I are can't. the most okay. devious to... bastard in have... New in Ohio. God damn it. I have more stuff. The, the, oh, the yeah, point is, ahead. the point is, we have to th- thanks to the patrons' uh, financial support. That's why we're able to to do the show and keeps the lights on, and and um, we're paying for a nice recording system that is not just free garbage that you can get for free, and um, and unfortunately, it includes a soundboard. Thick, and- thoggy, <laughs> booty. So anyway, give us a rating, do all the things, go to discord.io slash loose screws to join us in discord and chat with us and go to loose screws, ed.com for mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, and more. And patreon.com. Yeah. Buy merch. Patreon.com slash loose screws, ed, uh, or just search for it. And that's it. That that's it. Especially so, come great, join us uh, in discord. There's uh, a lot of great yeah. conversation going on there. Well, guys, kind of discord's free. Yeah, it's Come free, on. and we're there. Yeah, it's free. What's the matter with you? Yeah. All right. You dumb bastards. I'm spin my ship I mean, around whoa, here. I love and... you all. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Uh, all right. That's it. That's Fly it. Fly loose and screwy. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.